The Air Force Research Laboratory's Directed Energy Directorate is testing a non-lethal weapon that is just about ready for field use. In a traditional non-lethal weapon, like a taser or a stun gun, physical contact with the skin is required to achieve the desired effect. The active denial system can be used from a range outside that of small arms fire. I've been hit by it a lot, tens of times. I don't think I can count them. <laughs> High-powered millimeter waves penetrate the target's skin 1 64th of an inch, which heats up the water layer and gives the target the sensation of unbearable intense heat, but causes no permanent injury. And it's radio frequency. It's no more elaborate than you get in your car, you hear the AM, FM radio. Those waves are going through the air, you don't see them, you don't hear them, you don't smell them, you don't feel them, but they put sound out of your radio. So we're radio frequency, we go through the air as an invisible beam, and we've determined with 15 years of research that we're only heating that outer 1 64th of an inch, causing a very robust repel response. For most people, their immediate reaction is to move away. When people are your targets, safety was the number one thing, so we carefully crawled through every little nuance and every little parameter, making sure we understood this effect. The system is covert and can potentially be used from aboard aircraft or to deter aggressors for crowd control. Tech Sergeant Steve German, Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico. Ah! Oh! Wow.